Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. Over the years, we have hosted so many different kinds of performers, many of whom have been classically trained. So this week, we thought we'd highlight them. So here is Jamie DeRoy and Classical Friends. And she's just a super talent and a super, super wonderful, wonderful person. Please welcome Nikenji. Oh, 
is an amazing performer. She has traveled the world. She's been on Broadway. Just this last Sunday, I was out in uh, East Hampton and saw her perform at Guildhall in a Lerner and Lowe show, and she was fabulous. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure I introduce you to Anna Bergman. So, isn't love just the most maddening and wonderful feeling in the world? So necessary and yet often so elusive. But without it, whatever would songwriters write about? Right? So I'm going to leave you tonight with a, a song from a masterpiece. Uh, this is uh, from... Uh, composer lyricist Adam Gettles, Tony Award winning, Grammy nominated Broadway musical, The Light in the Piazza. <clears throat> you can look in the forest for a secret field, for a golden arrow, for a prince to appear. For a fable of love that will last forever You can look in the ruins For a wishing well For a magic apple For a charioteer For a fable of love That will carry you To a moon on a hill To a hidden stream A lagoon and a red and dream silhouettes set away from time forever to a valley beyond the setting sun where waters shine and horses run where there's a man who looks for you but while you look you're changing turning you're a well of wishes you're a fallen a fake love's a fable just a painting on a ceiling just a children's fairy tale still you have to look and look and look and look and look and look, and look, and look, and look For the eyes on a bridge in a pouring rain Not the eyes, but the part you can't explain For the arms you could fall into forever For the joy that you thought you'd never know For here at last, away you go To a man who looks for you if you find in the world, in the wide, wide world, that someone sees, that someone knows you, love, love, love if you can, oh my Clara, love if you can, and be loved.
we went to different opera companies, uh, Amato Opera and Da Capo, and we even went down to Asti, where they have opera music with your dinner. And we went to a place up on 86th in Amsterdam and found this wonderful place in a church. I think they perform Tuesdays and Fridays, and it's called Opera Works. And my next young guest was starring in both of the one-act operas, uh, the medium and the telephone, and I was so impressed with her, and she was such a dear. So I asked her to come and join us tonight. So please welcome Kara Lynn Welch. And I'd love to invite Brenda Jovanovic up, and we're going to do Make Believe from Showboat. <laughs> Just an unimportant technicality. Well, the cold and brutal fact is, you and I have never met. We need not mind conventions, P's and Q's. We put our thoughts in practice. We could banish all regrets. had the pleasure of going to to a party and someone got up on stage, uh, not on stage, it was at someone's house, but just, somebody just got up at the piano and sang a song and it was my next guest and she is, she just, she just floored me with this beautiful voice and I am just so proud to say that a week ago she made her, her debut at the Metropolitan Opera and I am thrilled to present to you right now, ladies and gentlemen, Anita Johnson. Um. 
Johnson. Anita Johnson. That brings me to my next guest, who is, he, he's just, he's amazing to me. Um, last, well, no, I got, it's like in the summer of 2001, I was doing a benefit out in uh, the Hamptons called Hidden Talents of the Hamptons. And I heard about this singing cop and I wanted to use him but I got a lot of crap from the uh, organizers of the benefit because he didn't live in the Hamptons. So I got him on the phone and we talked and I said, I promise you, I am gonna do a show, a series of shows in the fall and I will bring you on then. And, uh, and trust me, they'll be much more appreciative, which by the way, they certainly were. It was like the worst audience in the world in the Hamptons. Save me from socialites. But anyway. <laughs> They think that ta going around and conversing during the show and talking just from table to table because they are the chairs of the event is okay. It's not. Anyway, so anyway, what happens, of course, is 9-11 happens. And um, he, being the, the, the singing cop from the, from the police force, he started singing at, at all the memorials and all the funerals. And then Giuliani asked him to come and sing for the Yankees. And he started singing the Star Spangled Banner everywhere. And he became the Yankees' good luck charm. Well, it absolutely changed his life. Pavarotti took him under his wing. He, he quit the police force. He is now not the singing cop anymore. He is, he is a true, true professional. This is all he does. He has now been on every talk show that you can imagine. Oprah, Letterman, Leno, Kathy, uh, Regis, and, and, and uh, Kelly. He, he's done them all. I, uh, Larry King. If it's a talk show, he's been on it. He just returned literally today from doing the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra, and he will be going on tour in Australia and New Zealand to promote his latest CD. Now, I know we're not all going to Australia and New Zealand to see him. However, on September 13th, we can all go to see him at the theater at Madison Square Garden, where he'll be performing with Michael Amante. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great delight I bring you Daniel Rodriguez. <laughs> Sondheim? <laughs> Wildhorn? You know him, right? No. But I learned that I have a lot to learn. And I got a chance to do, um, to do some work with Placido Domingo. And, and I just completed my first opera. I was Cagno in Puccini in uh, uh, New Hampshire. And uh, it was a fantastic, we had a good review. So now I had, I had prepared another song to do for you. And then this sheet music fell out of my book. And Jamie said, oh, why don't you do that? That would be really cool. <laughs> and Lenny looked at me and says, I'm going to play Puccini. <laughs> he says, it's been a while, but I'll give it a go. So, with your kind indulgence, I'd like to share with you an aria. And uh, this is going to really hurt. <laughs> um, it's Pavarotti's flower song. It's from the opera Turandot probably one of the most popular arias, and I'm sure many of you have heard it. Uh, if not at the opera, then Bugs Bunny did it many times. <laughs> Isn't that where everybody learned opera, right? Bugs Bunny, Sunday morning cartoons, that's where I learned opera. This is uh, an aria called Nessun Dorma, No One Sleeps. No, no, solo tu 
Daniel Rodriguez. Whoa. Whoa. 